hello 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 beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl kana and i am here on at kalangala island if you know you know one of my favorite places to visit this is my second time visiting this island and this time around i am getting to see so many things right now we have done a pit stop to a place called philo philo leisure Mm, leisure resorts or something hotels or something <laughs> i cannot remember the name very well but all in all i'm going to be going to a farm after here after freshening up and i met a local on the boat and he was good enough and nice enough to be showing me like the place and to be checking me like around the area so far we have visited so many places and i am looking forward to seeing so much more of what kalangala truly has to offer this is my second time being here and so far um in this time i have seen more of kalangala than i saw it at first you know am i even doing anything <laughs> am i doing anything push yourself further Hmm. Let me try and see. <laughs> it is nice. But if you take care, you can slide there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we are done with this place. So I'm just going to board so that we can go through the farm place. Okay, we are going to eat order order something to eat. <laughs> of course. Ah ah na katate. Oh that's nice. All right, we have finished like ordering food so now we are going to go to the farm and then as we are coming back from the farm we are going to like just come and eat something one thing i loved about kalangala is that it always reminded you that you were actually on an island because in all directions you could see the water even from far away you could see that you were surrounded by water and i loved that sense because as a person who loves water so much i felt like i was on my own like island you know an island of its own and i guess that was actually what i was at <laughs> i just love to see the water in every single direction that i looked and surprisingly kalangala actually had like made up roads the roads were good they did not have the holes and yeah most of the places that we are passing by are islands no are resorts actually and uh yeah a lot of people like had made resorts or hotels or like lodges where you can stay when you visit kalangala in all kinds of prices so you could actually get to be accommodated on however much you want to spend so it was all about like your money anyways i loved it and here we had just started the journey to actually go to the farm now one thing that, about the farm that i did not know about it was that it was actually very very far and when you are going to see in this video as you continue on seeing is that we are going to move such a long distance to get there but it was worth it guys we are still on our way to the farm and so far i'm getting to see like all the locals because mr johnson oh my 
goodness. Mr. Johnson knows everybody. <laughs> no, for real, you know everybody. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. All we have see farm. We have see water, there was no water. Look at this. Really? So Look at how beautiful this place is. So we lost to mm. three acres of water. Really? Yeah. Three acres? Yes. As you see there now, it goes, it, it, mm. it sinks up to when you cannot see when you leave. Yeah. So this, this point, many days they are floated there. This point, they are the flats. Okay. These stones, eh? They are marble stones. Wow. This is called the Sozzi point. This is, this is Sozzi Moina. Ah. This is beautiful. It's like... So, let's go there and see some animals. Yeah. So, if I all right guys so as you can see like these palm gardens go on for miles and miles let me tell you something the biggest part of kalangala is actually just palm gardens and plantations like and trees and forests and all of that and then the other part is just water and then people just uh take on such a little part anyways all these uh gardens of palms are actually owned either owned by uh individuals or by a company called bidico and bidico is like a company that produces the oil that we use here in uganda and maybe they supply in other places as well and uh cooking oil you know so usually what people do a lot of them people own these palm gardens and they plant palms it's like such a, a thing like for revenue where they get revenue because they go and sell it out to bidico and they get to ha to like the bidico like buys their palm or their coconuts are they even called coconuts are they even called palms i don't know the plantations are called palm trees so i don't know like what the <laughs> i don't know like what the coconuts are called are they called coconuts i don't know anyways they are going they are, they are bought uh by the company and yeah people are paid by it so a lot of them a lot of the people are growing this kind of plantation it's so many and it's a lot yeah that's why they eat they eat and eat and eat and eat and eat believe it or not we're still not even in the middle of our journey but we passed by the locals and this is where they lived everybody is so carefree on this island one thing that you should know is that people are so carefree on this island <laughs> it is crazy and we're seeing like uh, they were doing their morning work because it was actually early in the morning. We started this journey by nine and I think by this time it was going to 11. People were drinking already in the early morning. Like they were drinking, they were dancing, they were everything. They were doing it. <laughs> how much would like how much would rent be here to like get a house in this area? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so. see. Not, not like uh, the best house, yeah, but just a, a, a house where you can live with your family. A normal house like this one. 300, 250. 250. Yeah, 300. Ugandan shillings. Yes. That's nice. Four boys, no? This boat. Here they are rentals, you can find the other some of the guys that you met in the coast area here. Okay. So down there there is a delta. So you see if you stand here, yeah. there is a house there, there is a church. Yeah. There is a beach called the hotel called the, the address where they zip lining. It is behind <gasps> there. Oh it's really? They there. do zip lining? Yes. That, that really? zip lining. Yes. Let's go. You can come back and you go and see there. What? Zip lining? Yes, a big thing. Oh wow! I did not know that. Well, well, well. We are actually still on the way, and wow, 
that is all I can say. We had to get uh, fuel. I love it. The views alone. I was told that this is called the million dollar view. <laughs> okay. If this is not a million dollar view, then I don't know what is. Look at all of that. Look at all of that. The only issue that I have is that you don't get to like see a lot of vehicles, be it motorcycles or cars. So meaning a lot of people are walking. Yeah, mostly what I've seen so far is that so many people are walking. And as a person who's not a fan of walking, I don't know how they survive here every single day. <laughs> now definitely i can say that we definitely started our journey and we we're going through the village part remember the farm is in the village and i did not know this because i was not told that it was actually in the village anyways the road that you are seeing right now is where they do car racing i did not know that the village like the island did car racing but it does uh eat on this road so enjoy enjoy in the middle of the journey i had to put on a mask because as you can see the road was so dusty and people here one thing you should know is that they drive like crazy because there are not so many cars it means that people are driving very crazy and this car like this road was told as you can see like there is a police checkup and in this road they say that there are are so many deaths by accidents because people drive so crazy we had passed by and anybody who doesn't wear a element they would chase them away which is also crazy but we led to pass through because we had a motorcycle that is like a organization motorcycle yeah so we left to pass by anyways uh we went on to go into deep into the village now we are definitely visiting uh mr johnson's village and i didn't even know that we we're visiting his village but hey we are going <laughs> i'm on a motorcycle for a stranger and i'm just letting him take me wherever there are even people here <laughs> we reached a moment when the only path you could find is actually this little path that you can see and that is where we're going this motorcycle actually did a very good job because hey <laughs> even walking with legs was hard so just imagine like driving in with a motorcycle but it was a good motorcycle so we're okay and we're able to go anywhere and everywhere we wanted as you'll be seeing in the video so we were going to like uh, the first home of mr johnson and they were they were doing like this prayer burial for like a person who died such a long time ago and they were like praying for them or something like that i don't know how to explain it to you but if you get it you get it anyways we did a pit stop and we continued on with our journey and uh yeah we were passing by like a lot of uh what is what are they called gardens those are gardens of people and there is cassava sweet potatoes and that's even a house of people one thing i love about like village people is that they are actually so clean you know every single house that you you find is is not made of brick but it's so clean you want to look at to you to look at it you know and if you ever like get into their house it is also so clean village people are clean people and town people are dirty people i have said it if you disagree comment about it <laughs> anyways we went on to our journey so we went on into the journey and we had to like you know what mr johnson was such a good tour guide guys if you ever want to go to kalangala contact me so that i can contact you to mr johnson he was such a good tour guide anyways we passed by so many schools and we passed by a what is this called like a church but where nuns go i don't know what that is called like a church where nuns go 
So if you are a nun, yeah, there. Anyways, uh, we passed by that place and I was actually surprised that they even had that because I have not seen any of that on the mainland. I don't know where the like nuns go here on the mainland. So anyways, forgive me if I am sounding ignorant, but it is what it is. So I was going around the village waving to people. I don't even know who I waved to, but you know what? I waved to them maybe because they waved to me. Who knows? I do not know. So we we're still going on and in this time around we were like at least a quarter of the journey to the village. Well, here are some tea. Are they called tea? tea? Green tea plants. I don't know how those are called, but anyways, they are being grown here on the island. And this was such a beautiful view of the island. Guys, my phone does not do justice to this island. Like, the sightseeing is out of this world. Well, we are still on our trek. Actually, this has just become like a motorcycle ride <laughs> around Kalangala. I have seen it all, for real. Not it all, but I have seen enough. Look at all the nature. It's so beautiful. And the sun is high in the sky, so you can just imagine, as you have been seeing in like all the sightseeing that we have been seeing. That is a lot of seeing. But all in all, I hope you are enjoying the video so far as we go on to see more. I will stop saying seeing. <laughs> Well guys, so we are now halfway into our journey and we made actually a cool pit stop. Now let me tell you something, all these palm trees that you're seeing, yeah, the, I think this is like the property of Bitco. And uh, remember the one that I told you that processes the oils and sells oils, you know, that one, yes. And we actually went up to the factory where they process the oils now let me tell you something that smoke that you see in the air right right there it smells so bad i literally reached on that place and i was vomiting literally i was i was almost puking for real it smells so bad and i hated every single minute of it and i don't know how people like live there but hey we all right so we are going to do a pit stop get something to eat and continue i thought the village was just around the corner because when i was told <laughs> no actually i thought the farm was just around the corner because when i told oh we are just going to the farm i was like okay let's go together and i thought it was around the corner but we have been driving for hours to get to the farm <laughs> But I'm, I'm still going to see the farm because now I'm in the journey, I am all over the place, I am already moving. So we might as well as get to the farm and see what they have to offer. But so far, I'm enjoying all the sightseeing and the scenery that I'm going to see. So right now I'm just going to like uh, get something to eat and continue on with our journey. So stay tuned. These chapatis are so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we we are done with eating. Now back on the road we go.
my goodness we have finally arrived at home <laughs> oh my goodness finally finally wow it is beautiful Oh. I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm exhausted. Wow. I have a splitting headache, but but we are we will leave. Let's see now the farm. Nefene. Wow. Okay. Now I have got a water refill and um, we are finally going to make a pit stop to the farm, see what happens and then get back to the mainland which is going to take so many hours. Oh, But I am enjoying myself on this. I'm enjoying myself real good. <laughs> Alright, so finally we had arrived to the home of Mr. Johnson and then we went down to the farm, right? So guys, this is the crazy thing. When I thought farm, I think of like food and uh, uh, and like animals. I'm talking chickens, I'm talking like goats, I'm talking, uh, you know, those farm animals. But no, no. One thing about like this place is that, oh, they had actually maize, so that is good. And that is li literally the only food that I saw there. And the other farm mostly that he was talking about was the palm farm. These people like are talking about palm farm. But guys, Mr. Johnson decided to take me to actually like a village of when I asked like, are there people starving in this place? Because I was seeing like so many gardens. And he was like, yeah, they are starving. And let me show you, like, where the poor people are living. So this is what I found. Okay. 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 Ah. Jack, sorry. Bye, my language is that seven. Hey. Oh, you need it? Hey. Yeah, Mm. <laughs> Guys, I was totally flabbergasted of what I was truly seeing in this place. Now, in Kalanga, they told us that this is the place of luxury where people actually come to eat money, enjoy money, have fun. But in the hidden parts of Kalangala, like when you go deeper, when you dig deeper, you get to see all these kinds of things in this place. And I was totally blown away because I did not know that people can live in these kinds of situations. And I saw it with my own two eyes, like the kinds of houses, the kinds of uh, damages and like the living situations that these people were living in were just totally bad. And yeah, this is what I found out, you know, the houses themselves don't barely have roofs. They are leaking. It was bad, guys. It was bad. And nobody ever talks about it. I have never heard of this on the news in my country. I usually hear about like how if you want to enjoy money, go to Kalangala. If you want to do this, go to Kalangala. But they never show us these kinds of things. And we finally saw them. That is a house. My goodness. I have some food here. Hello, baby. Hi. I know these days are, I've grown up in an intelligence world. Mm. What do you ah. call them? They're two. This is one. 
Okay, good, very good. Bye bye. Oh, Yeah. So we used to farm here. Yeah. This is my, this is my area. I normally sure. fetch water mm. for farming for watering. Mm. But you, you be keen, no? so that mm. you don't get high on the road. At least from now know where I'm going. Woo! So the house got in both issues. Yeah. Uh, I think one, one, this my one. goodness. That can be the house. That can be the house, sorry. Yeah, this is a house as well. Wow, how many like people live there? <laughs> we are in a bush. Swear to God. Just speaking so that people think don't do it in your own way. So it's this time. My goodness. Wow. So, they just say a house right here. <gasps> that is a house. Yes. For example. This is a house, guys. Did they leave? Yes. Oh, they left? No, but we yeah, you know these people. Hmm. They don't normally lose what is to harsh conditions. So okay. When they see life is fine, it's fine. But I found it. Okay. MJ is there. My Johnson. God. They were here. This, this was a house of people yes. and they left. It was MJ056. Can I go and, and see the inside? Yes. Let me show. So it was double room? Guys. self contained This <laughs> double room self contained okay. okay. I don't enter. Very fantastic. Wow. I don't know why we left this Yeah. You can just take it around. My goodness. Like this is a full house for like people. They were like five. Five people living here. And the lady was pregnant. Yeah? Oh, yeah. My goodness. Well, back. We are going back, but... Wow. No. Uh, I wish they didn't think it's a rich neighborhood. <laughs> wow. We are going further actually okay we have like a rich neighborhood in this neighborhood of growth and i don't know what to say i hope you're seeing what i'm seeing as well because there is no road at, at all at the moment even where we are passing we are just passing through bushes and all of that wow Hello. Oh, mama ni mwaka nyonyi. Really? Clams is a sebo. Bana eka venange. Eh, eko damu. So, we need to again. Wow. This is where we are at the moment. A person's home. Wow. Usually, like, there are moments when you're like, I don't even have words to say or to speak upon a place, and you just like seeing. Do you see that? Hello. And I think this house is for this gentleman over here. So they even like have a, like a drawing. They counted you. 
Bakuvala. Yeah, Bakuvala. Okay. Yeah, they counted them like in the population census. Interesting. Hey, Mama Banario. Mama Banario. Eh, Tanaba. Tanaba. Okay. Well, in a tally was ours. Okay. Oh, the, the wife is away, but I love this. Wow. And Kuba is the Kuba, Getonye. Eh? Like in Kuba, like Wetonya, Kubanga, Sidabako roof, Sidabako Mabati, Te in Kuba, Te Kuba, Wetonye. Oh, Banange. And I am an enemy to you. Okay, I'll see you. Oh, what is Oh, 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 Muin and City. Okay. Oh, I teach her she be. Eh, Nanga Mulongo is a balloonji. Caleban be Mukwan, Tuvala Vieco. Cale Mukwan, bye bye. So, I have like told him you have done like well with cleaning and everything, and he's like, yeah, we have to clean because if we don't clean, it actually it gets like so wet and then there are mosquitoes and then people like they will get actually malaria because malaria comes from mosquitoes and as you have seen just to get here in this area like it was such a long trek that if you get sick god knows what you have to do at the end of the day it's, it's you and god if you get sick but all in all we have seen them and we are going to continue with our trek you saw the guy on the border border. I like to buy the wood for the farm. Yeah. But but see, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Is your leg? No. Hmm? Is your leg? Today. Today is here. The one I was telling you that the jump station. Oh, okay. Oh, banange. Go back to my Yeah. Oh, banange. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> oh, I have something for you. Bana. Hello? Guys, this baby boy had a tree fall on him and by the time they took him to the hospital, it was too late. I think they went to a clinic later on in the days. Yeah. When it was long overdue. Yeah. But he, they ended up going to clinic by the time they were referred to the health facility. Yeah. They would, all they would do was to, 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 to amputate. Like, like, amputate wow. So that's how the child now got. Yeah. Mm. That, that is so bad. Bit, yeah? mm. That is so bad you because it's so young. I know that some of the things that you only had time during the mm -hmm. you can't come to that home and say all oh, people are fine. Mm. You know, you're worse than even the worst people. Mm. 
and so we, those people need services. Yeah, and we had just passed by them, yeah? and you would never know that they are in ah, there, so you know? So now come and say, they are poor people. Yeah. And they are all fine. Yeah. You really bad, you are even the government, but maybe I don't judge services mm -hmm. to the people. You don't, for you, deny them that chance. At least you would rather give them chance. Mm -hmm. Because for me, statistics, they say, that they should be accurate, mm -hmm. should be effective, mm -hmm. should be timely. Mm -hmm. You know, complete, complete. So, you yeah, don't go to accurate data. Mm -hmm. However much it will come timely, but it's hopefully that it's not the information that is really needed. Maybe for the Zanarubino in your family, mm -hmm. and when you think they are all fine, mm -hmm. you can only really know that people are all fine when you haven't gone there to literally interact with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because wow. normally, the child with Down syndrome, they are normally inside the house. Okay. So, how do you assume? Mm -hmm. How do you assume that they are, they are there? Mm -hmm. Don't say that. But the things are being done by people. This is where, where the, the, the people, people get all their water. Yes. Wow. All those people, even the other people from home, sometimes yes. we come and fetch here. Really? Water. From your home? Yes. yes. Where yes. we came? Yes. No. Okay, let me see. And it looks like the like the ground is clay. Yeah. yeah. My Isn't it like dangerous for the people who are here? Like anything can happen. No, Kalanga. Yeah. Natural security. Natural security. Me, I take care of. Okay. There's no. Have you seen any person holding the gun? I don't think I don't think guns are the ones that have issues in Kwan. What I mean. Yeah. Like people, bad people, people with bad hearts. People are there. People are there. Mm. But you know, you literally find that the number of good people is out competing. Mm. The number of bad okay. people then you live in a white. Okay. Okay. So many people most people are too. Mm. Yet they they don't connect to the bad people, then that's when you get the threat from mm. that. Mm. Guys, remember when I talked about the rich neighborhood? Well, we have got to eat. This is a house owned by some rich person and it's beautiful. I, sh I can say that it's beautiful and uh, with all these palm trees like surrounding it. Such a contrast from like the place that we have just seen like with so much poverty and so much heartache. And then you get to this place where things are nice and the house is big and fast interesting how the world works that is how they 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 uh that is how they harvest the the binazi you never know <laughs> this is so nice wow but even we also have a work as you say. Okay. So from here, this side. Yeah. This is our garden. This side. Okay. So the garden if goes like from this side. Here, yeah. The Lord, we can even leave the bike here and we walk. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you're tired, you can ride through. So wow. They collect, eh? They will get yeah. a collection point. And this is now getting up. Yeah. Down. He's trying to like yeah. get some, tra trying to get He's one just out. Just what if it what if it like no, falls crawl. on me? No, don't don't, don't crawl. You come and you go to this. You can bring and then I get two money and it falls even to the move. Yeah, we are we are actually getting closer so that we can see how they are harvesting the vinazi. <laughs> oh my goodness! Let me see, let me see. Uh huh. So you like he Wow. Yeah, he's moving this one, but it's okay. Okay. Eh? okay. So he's How do you even know like it's ripe? Wow. Okay. 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 The sickle. Oh. Okay, it's falling. Then you come again and you see how it is. Like we have to leave this shoe. 
Okay. We are going to look for one that is ripe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How did I even end up here? All right. So we are in. Uh, what are they called? My mind is not minding anymore. Palm garden. And we are trying to see how they harvest the palms. <laughs> I do not know how I ended up here. I was just going to the to the to the farm, you know. <laughs> but I love it. I love what I've gotten to see so far because like uh my tour guide is so nice. And yeah, so far we are going to see this gentleman do his work because this is his job and he's a professional at it. Let me, sh let me show you. You just can't go on. You can't, can't come back to the I need to clear the leaves. This is very very tight. Wow. So him, eh? he yeah. runs away from that thing. Okay. If he comes, it is heavy. It is, it is heavy. Yeah. You know, given the, uh, the height it is. Okay. Uh, inclined. You see? It can even remove your head. So, you literally have to be sure. Wow. Like, the kind of energy he has to mm. use alone to get to that thing and cut mm. through it. But even the, like the timing also. Yeah. Not only in the but also timing. You have, the body has to rhyme with, mm. with what you really want to do. Okay. okay. Wow. Okay. It's coming your way. So, okay. you need the element. So guys now to locate where to see is it still firm? Mm. Where is it exactly? Where is the like the the real thing? So we can see at least the thing we saw. Okay. From the standpoint, you know, like you have completed this side, you are knowing. But when you fall, it can run from there up to there. Oh. So this I see. It is it is going to cut somewhere. So like just where it is. <gasps> so you have to pick all those ones, whatever. Okay. Wow. Oh, it's coming. Wow. So if it comes and hits <laughs> your head, so you see now, guys. That's how they count it to the job down. Wow. That thing you can I get close? Yes, you can get close. Okay, I have seen them like a harvest one, so let's get close so that we can see the real thing. Oh, look at it. This is what they harvest, and they have to pick up every single one of them like that yeah. has fallen. Yeah. And they will make oil out of this. Beautiful. Wow. For real, you guys, you need to be so strong to even like cut that so thing in one go. You know, so you need you, to you be really so need strong. To you need to, you may want to like two what? times. So you do one, you do two, you do three, you do two. You can come closer. You need to do five. That's when you make the tip. Wow. You can come closer. I'm so fascinated. Work. It is hard. it is hard and he cut it in one go. What? I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. Wow. Look look at how many have been harvested so far. Look at that. Oh, they are so beautiful. Like they are so beautiful. Look at this one. This is how vice. Oh, yeah. This is so pretty. It's like oh, I'm getting inspired. Straya. You are good. City girl. You are good. You are good. Yes, clever. City girl.
nice. You're going to take me. I take a picture. My goodness. We have got. Oh, that's so nice. The water likes mm. gets to yeah, collect yeah. from here. If you can go that at that point, it's, yeah? it's, it's really nice. Oh, it's clean. There, where it's flowing, mm. yeah? It's really clean. Wow. You can even put a gel can. Oh, okay. Mm. Look at this. Like. So instead of going there, so yeah? you come here. Okay. Now, when I want to get some water for the goats, mm. I come here. Okay. I don't go there at all. Okay. This is beautiful. We are going to pass through? No. Okay, we are just going to... Hey. Okay. We we'll pass at least the other side. Okay. Back to the trek. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you that we are actually in the farm and it's a cop it's a palm farm. <laughs> Ooh. Manure is there. Let's go and see. You know you can eat it raw. When I was younger, but now I don't have the teeth for it. You cook. I you boil it. Yeah, it, it. They are so nice when you cook them. Boil it. Oh, thank God. Wow, yeah. <laughs> what? That is how you you open it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The place is known to be So we are come down here. I think we can see too. So you see? They okay. Have a water. Yeah. Uh, okay, then you can go there inside and see. You can try. That is okay. Do do I even like. Uh, what if what the if they knock me over? No, they can't. They are not wild. You just come, just try. They are not wild. They are not wild. So, Hello, God. Hi. yes, and the batteries trying to. It's like a bull. A male yes, goat. the batteries. Oh. Hello. <laughs> they are like taking a picture. <laughs> they are even posing for one. No, no, no. My goodness. I fear these things. Anything that has horns, I, I am afraid. Let me just take so in this bull. Let me see the power. I am up. Oh. Oh. I loved, I loved the whole entire journey of actually getting to this place. <laughs> yeah, it was very nice and something new to see. Ah, definitely something new to see. It was food for the eyes. Oof. Where? Let's go and see. No, what if it's like for somebody? This is our friend. Let's wish to meet somebody again. <laughs> What? Ah. It is hot, but it's beautiful as well. Let me just rest up here. Ah, on a ladder. That's where I'm going to be resting. And then 
we are going to be driving back to where we came and I cannot wait because I need a bath no matter how many times and how much a city girl actually loves the village life because this I love this don't get me wrong I love it but oh, let me sit down ah. Ah. Ooh, I'm tired I love the city the, the village life but I can only stomach it for <laughs> like hours hours and then I want to go back yeah that's life and that's like what I have to accept but it's nice oh thank you okay I was brought jackfruit and I'm going to eat that and then we can proceed well we decided after a long journey to enjoy some jackfruit that we found we found on the farm mr johnson loves to talk and i love to listen so we were definitely enjoying our time and relaxing just feeling the ambience of the whole entire place and of the whole entire garden of palms which is so nice but guys be careful if you ever find these things they are snakes in this place so yeah be safe out there <laughs> but I loved the whole entire journey and I hope you loved it too alright ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of our video I have travelled I think half of Kalangala I have seen it all and I loved every single minute of it and I hope you also loved every single minute of it the sightseeing, the palm plantations the gardens, the farms, the people everything i hope you enjoyed it as you can see the scenery in the background is so beautiful was beautiful still beautiful and will forever be beautiful that is it for today's video i'll be seeing you next time it was your girl kana and i love you all i am here in the pearl of africa and this is kalangala island where i have been visiting for like a weekend i'll be seeing you next time bye